Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas for your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 80 of the Global Author Podcast with me, Con Whiteley. And today's episode is on my 2022 plans for Global Authors. So to open 2020, I wanted to explain to writers what I'm planning to do this year. So that you might get some inspiration or some ideas for your own author business. And I always love these year-long plans because they really do help me understand the direction that I want for my own author business. And I always truly believe though that by hearing other authors' plans, then we can get ideas for our own author businesses so we can all grow and develop. So but this is going to be a great episode that I cannot recommend enough. And it is Monday the 24th of December 2021 as I record this. Uh, record this. this is a bit early, but uh, these are the plans for uh, 2022. And in all honesty, I cannot see them changing. In fact, I basically know that they won't <laughs> at this point. So uh, because this is like uh, pre-recorded, I'm, like, I'm not going to do a personal update. And as always, I always uh, love to your uh, thoughts and feelings on uh, today's episode. So you can always email me at conwhitely at conwhitely.net. You can always leave a comment on the show notes at theglobalauthor.com forward slash podcast. And you can always tweet me on Twitter at theglobalauthor. I always love to hear from all of you because it really helps make the podcast feel more like a conversation. And especially, I would absolutely love to hear what are your plans for 2022. And today's episode has been sponsored by Your All for Business Planner by Joanne Penn. So this is an absolutely brilliant online course that I really, really do recommend it because I love it. I think it's absolutely brilliant because Joanne Penn, in her normal, char- like, characteristically fun, easy to understand and rather energetic way, you know, but like, it takes you through how to create your own All for Business plan. And this can really help you take your writing more seriously and actually plan about how you want to make money from your writing. This is a really great course that I cannot recommend enough and it really helped me. So I really hope that this can help you just as much. And if you want to use my affiliate link so I get a small percentage of the sale and know it's to cost you, then please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash business plan. So we're moving on to my 2021 plan, plan that for a global authors. So I've adapted the year Operation Expansion, and just like my plans for 2021, I named my aims by giving them an operation name, like they do in the military. I do not know why, <laughs> please don't ask me because I really have no idea. As well as in 2022, I really want to focus on expanding my author business in a number of other ways, including genres, books, short stories, incomes and more. Therefore, what I'm going to show you today all what feeds into the idea of expanding my author business in multiple directions. Also, with ease of planning and managing my operation, I've broken it down into the following three categories. Genres and books, podcasts and websites, business, and and I, that includes stuff like income, income streams, kickstarters and more. Genres and books. So uh, this part of my aim is all about a, expanding my author business in terms of products, since all these products will earn me money for the life of copyrights, which is for the rest of my life and 50 to 70 years of after my death, meaning if I can create more and more products that help me earn a living as an author, then I want to expand my pool of products. Also, I want to create as many doors into my author ecosystem as that I've mentioned before on every podcast, which each book is, and I want to give my fans as much choice as possible. So, I plan to write the following as a minimum. At least 100 short stories in different genres. Also, though, I do need to get a number of short stories in one genre to 100 so I can run a Make 100 Kickstarter in January in January 23. In all honesty, that will most probably be sci-fi because I've currently got 56 sci-fi short stories at the moment. So I will most probably do another, well, at least another um, 44 like uh, this year and then I'll uh, do a um, Kickstarter. 10 psychology books and then 8 novellas. Now the reason why I want to write at least 8 novellas is because I always put 2 novellas in each issue of uh, Whiteley Worlds as well as for me publishing 4 issues of the magazine a year. It means that I need to have 8 novellas in order to fit it. And I sort of am quite set on like, this idea though but I will um, aim for 8 like, as a minimum. But part of me is a wondering if I write 12 novellas and a good amount of a short stories, then I could do one novella and 10 short stories per issue, allowing me to publish the magazine monthly. 
monthly and then what I would do is that I would put it up on a pre-order just to make it a lot more like manageable. Of course this is only a full and oh, let's see how like, the next year goes as the 12 novellas is a lot and even for me but you never know. Overall though I do want to publish at least 50, ma yeah, but, like, 50 major products next year to help my discoverability and expand my offering to my readers and I should know to that this is a lot easier than it sounds because a major product is a novella, novel, box set or collection etc. Also though like if you do any like editing and I mean like editing for like, an anthology then that also counts as a major product. Not editing like someone else's book because of course like that doesn't count. <laughs> However, right, look at them. However, I need to stress here that these are all aims and it doesn't matter if I fail to do all of them because even with failure I have still created um, new pieces of uh, intellectual property that will help my author business and the same applies to you set yourself a goal and it doesn't matter if you fail as long as you try finally i want to mention that out of those eight novellas i plan to do three romance spy novellas because of a writing course by dean wesley smith but chris and Karen rush is a teaching is that i'm doing in july at, um, 2020 and then i'll take those three novellas that put it into a box and then that gives me another major product to sell to readers <laughs> Podcasts and websites. So very simply put, uh, put uh, this year for the Psychology World podcast, I uh, want to focus on three major areas that I'm interested in. And luckily enough, I'm, like, my audience is also like quite interested in it because like these topics are suicide, dementia and uh, psychology careers. Now, psychology careers is more what I'm marginally interested in, but then I uh, did a podcast episode on it and it turns out that my audience really, really liked it. So I'm sort of thinking, but it would be useful and now I'm actually quite into the topic so that sort of like worked out like quite nicely. So for my business throughput I want to do this because these topics are popular so I hope I can grow the podcast with them. Also what I'll be growing other topics I'll cover on the podcast and I will write and record episodes that will help me grow with the number of a po of a blog posts that I have. All in all I want to grow the podcast and explore topics that I'm really interested in and that's something that you've got to do. To be able to have a long-term sustainable career. Finally, in terms of like websites, I know I need to create a fiction website in 2022 20 because before um, 20, uh, 21, my number of fiction products was marginal. I basically did not have that many. But because I've done so many short stories and I've also done the Fireheart Fantasy series and a few other like novellas, my current fiction setup, which is like one web page on um, Connorwiley.net that does not work anymore so I need to create my own fiction website just so it can uh, help me as somebody in March of 2022 I need to upgrade my psychology website so I can reach some of the benefits of the higher paid tiers on Wix because when I first set Wix up it turns out I got the most basic one and I've sort of wanted to upgrade since but because I paid for three years I didn't want to like mess it up so that's why I'm waiting till March 2022 just so my current payment method supply runs out then I can upgrade and make sure that they aren't getting any like free you know but like free money like, off me. <laughs> so both of which will hopefully allow me to grow my online presence and hopefully sales. Quick note so something that I'm starting to realize is a massive tip here is that I would pick a direction or, or thing that, that you want your author business to head in and focus on it. For example, I'm focused on growth and expansion and I think I hope we'll come back to that idea. Business. So before I wrap up today's episode, I want to mention that in 2022, I plan to add at least three income streams to my business. Not only will this allow the business to hopefully grow and make more money, but it should allow my business to become more resilient should anything change dramatically, which if you've been listening to Joanna Penn, if you've been sort of like talking to her behind the scenes or doing her like AI course, then you would know that 2022 should be quite a major shift. Cool. So that I'm actually quite like looking forward to. And then like the last thing though, is that in 2022, I do fully intend to do four Kickstarters in in the following months for the following projects. So in January, I plan to do a Make 100 Kickstarter for Vigilant, which is my first mystery short novel. It's any like sci-fi based. And then I, because it's Make 100, I have short novel Vigilant as the main product. And then for the first 100 backers, just so it meets the Make 100 criteria, I'll give away um, 100, 100 free copies 
of what was the first one? Oh yeah, um, a return of for the ancient ones. And then April I'll do another one, but I'm not sure what that's going to be on yet. And then in July I'll do it as City of Death, which is the first urban fantasy novella, City of Assassins series. And then in October, this I really, really am like looking forward to because I'm starting to write some of the short stories now for it. Is my Winter Spectacular, even though I've almost definitely changed that name because. But if you've been following Dina Wesley Smith and Kristen Catherine Rush, then you will know that they have the Holiday Spectacular. And what that is, is that it's um, a fiction advent calendar, but uh, they do it from tons of like, different authors. But I want to do my own version. So I'm over to you. As I said at the start of this podcast episode, this is only for inspiration and ideas. Do not uh, try and try and to copy what I'm doing and don't be overwhelmed because I can do this because of the person I am, my life and other factors that are unique to me. You have a different life, a different set of circumstances. So you need to do what is right for you and your author business. If you want to do more than me, that is amazing. If you don't, that is amazing too. Just plan a few things that you want to do for your author business in 2022 and see where the road takes you and have fun. Having fun is the most important thing. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and that you got something out of it. If you know someone who would find today's episode useful, then please share it with them. I'm always really grateful when you wonderful people help spread the word about the podcast. And definitely a check out your author business plan by a giant pen. It's a great course. And as always, I only ever recommend the products that I can promote ethically and that I use myself. If you want to use my affiliate link, then please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash business plan. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening today. I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.